The Promised Neverland, one of the most anticipated anime shows of 2019 and one of the most top selling mangas of 2018, has finally debuted. What makes this dark fantasy shonen thriller so special and why you should watch it? And we will talk about that next here on J Cloud's Anime Talk. The first episode of Promise Neverland released a few days ago and took the internet by storm, trending all over the place and people just couldn't stop talking about it. Due to the fact of how popular this series was before it had an anime adaptation, coming in at number 8 for the most manga sales from November 2017 to November 2018. For a series to place that high in manga sales without ever having an anime adaptation is very impressive, and it speak volumes of the interest that people have for this series. Reasons why is because it's not your typical shonen with the high school superhero vibe, your magical fantasy world, or the common shonen with about the art of martial arts and transformations. This series is often compared to other series like Death Note and Attack on Titan because how dark and twisted and gory this series is. The fact that this is not your everyday shonen, judging by the looks of the show, you would think that this is your slice of life typical anime. And if you're a manga reader of this series or you already watched the first episode, then you know that's certainly not the case. Not even close. The way this story is written is based around these three main characters. Emma, the character in the middle, the charismatic athletic threat, Norman with the white hair, the strategist of the group, and Ray with the dark hair, the genius tactician. All these three characters are going to play a huge role throughout this series because they find out that this foster home that they in is not necessarily a foster home, but an actual farm which is why they have those barcodes on their necks being sent across over the fence to monsters to be eaten by their own foster mother and they trying to figure out a way to escape so everyone can leave from the foster home to be safe from mother who is named Isabella. And from episode 1 we find that out really quickly thinking that the kids get sent off to different homes making the audience feel like these kids are being sent off to parents who are willing to adopt them but they're actually being devoured by monsters. And we see those reactions by Emma and Norman when they see the little 5 to 6 year old girl body dead in a truck realizing soon enough that this foster home is a slaughterhouse. These kids grew up in this foster home their whole life and they're only 11 years old figuring out now that their whole life was a lie. And this makes the show theme very psychological. The love of their mother that they had figuring out now that she's behind all this now have their backs against the wall. Now knowing if they stay is only a matter of time they're gonna die and if they try to escape and get caught they're gonna die and trying to escape while having all the kids escape with them knowing that it's a bigger risk leaving with a big group trying to escape knowing the fact that there will be others who will get caught in the process. The uniqueness about this show is something I've been waiting for for Shonen for a long time. Not saying that the Shonen series that are out are bad but it just had the typical Shonen vibe to it. Not saying that all Shonen are like this. But the uniqueness about this series is why I believe this will be the next big thing in the shonen genre. And as far as the comparison of Death Note and Attack on Titan, in terms of success, will it be like those other series? I believe that is a question we will have to answer years to come. From my understanding this series, the first season, will be booked for 12 episodes. Definitely wish there were more episodes but I love this direction because I believe less is more especially if the first season ends on a cliffhanger it's gonna leave people craving for the new season and it will give time for the manga to finish up instead of having an ongoing series unlike other shows the production level will be better because for the most part smaller seasons of shows that take their time and let the manga do its part the quality is always better and we don't get series with ton load of filler and if you're into the anime shows that have that dark fantasy science fiction thriller vibe to it then it's definitely the show for you and not to alienate the manga readers but if you're looking for someone who would do in-depth discussions of this series and character analysis then subscribe to this channel another video i have of this series is already in the works and i will release it very soon you definitely don't want to miss it and if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button for me i'm jay cloud i'm out league or nothing